Hey guys, so today I have a makeup look for you guys and I want to do a look using my new deck of Scarlet palette. Um, it is a really, really pretty palette. I got th sent this by um, Deck of Scarlet um, and the colors are absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to share a look with you guys using this palette. So Deck of Scarlet is a subscription service that ships to the US, the UK and Canada. Um, they don't ship to New Zealand and Australia unfortunately, but I want to share this with you guys for those of you who live in those countries And for those of us who do live in Australia and New Zealand, we can also use a shipping service So yeah, so they bring out a new palette every two months um, And they collaborate with different influencers on YouTube So this one here that I have is a collaboration with Val Jordan, which is this beautiful lady here She is gorgeous and she does some really amazing makeup looks but yeah she collaborated with um deck of scarlet and brought out this beautiful palette it has three eyeshadows in there a highlighter a blush and then two lipsticks i really really like this concept because they're great to travel with and you've got like everything in there i also really like the packaging as well how pretty and sleek is it it's beautiful this one here says edition nine so like if you were to collect them how satisfying would that look with like all of the collections in there. They also sent me a deck of Scarlet Mascara as well, so I'm going to be using this too. But anyway, I'm going to stop babbling now and let's get into this makeup look. How cool is that packaging? Very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so I've already done my foundation, a bit of bronzer and my brows, so we're just going to get straight into it. Um, and we're going to be using everything out of this palette here. Another thing that I just want to quickly say as well about this packaging, how good is it that it has a separate flap for the lipsticks? I cannot stand when palettes don't have like a separate area for the lipsticks and you get powder in the lipsticks. It just reminds me of those like really, really old school palettes and they used to get so, the lipsticks and them used to get so dirty. But yeah, I think that's really, really cool. So when you're doing your eyeshadow and your blush and your highlighter, you're not getting all your powder into your lipsticks as well. So I'm going to start off by taking the color Drama, which is this color here and it's like a cool toned brown. I don't do cool toned eyes very much, but this is a very cool toned palette. So we're going for that today. Um, I'm gonna take the color Drama and I'm just going to apply that in my crease just as like a transition shade. They are very pigmented. Wow, I wasn't expecting them to be that pigmented. So that eyeshadow is super pigmented and really nice and easy to blend out as well, which is great. The next color we're going to be taking is the color Crush, which is the one in the middle. And I'm just going to be placing that just on the inner corner and the outer corner. I want to create a halo eye today. And then for the middle of my eye, I'm going to be going in with this color here. I'm super excited to try this color. This color is called Supernova and it's like a really metallic blue purple shade. So I'm just going to place that in the middle of my eye. Oh yes, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that purple color is absolutely beautiful. I love that. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same sort of thing on the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna go in with the color Crush just on the inner and the outer corner of my lower lash line and then a little bit of the Supernova shade just in the middle as well. Alright, and then to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to go in with the highlighter. It is more of a goldy shade, so I hope it turns out okay with these, like, more purpley eyes. But it's called Shh, so we're going to use that. Oh, that actually goes really pretty. I was a bit worried because it's, like, a more of a warm tone colour, but that actually goes really nicely with the look. All 
All right, so now it's time for mascara. I was gonna apply lashes, but I'm not really a lashes gal, so I'm just going to apply the mascara that it came with. This is the Deck of, Mas Deck of Scarlet Mascara in black. I really like the wand of that. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna try this. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the cheeks. I'm going to be using the blush that came in the palette. This is the color Whisper. It's a really nice, soft, sort of dusty pink. So I'm going to use that on my cheekbones. That would actually make like a really nice everyday blush color. Very nice. And then again, we're going to go in with the highlighter shush, or shush, how do you say that like as a word, shush, shush. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the lips. There are two lip colours in here. I kind of want to try them both. So I think I'm going to try the darker one first, just because... I probably wear the pink one or would this look more but I do want to try the purple one and see what it looks like so I'm gonna try it without a lip liner and see what they're like without a lip liner so this darker purple color here that we're gonna try is called passion just using that on a lip brush from MAC oh okay so I never expect much pigmentation out of like little pan lipsticks but holy cow that is amazing it's a really nice consistency it's very very light it almost feels like a it doesn't even feel like a lipstick it just almost feels like a paint um, but it feels really nice and comfortable on the lips and super creamy and pigmented all right so this is the color passion oh my god that is without a lip liner as well that is crazy the pigmentation on those I wasn't expecting it because whenever I use lipsticks out of a palette like that or like out of just like a little pan one um, I can never get the coverage like a normal lipstick but wow I'm absolutely blown away but that is passion this is probably not the color I would wear with this um, makeup look but it's great for you girls who like a deep dark purple lip um, with some bold makeup but we're gonna try the other one on the other one's called tempting and this one looks right up my alley Alright, so this lip colour actually looks a lot more neutral in the palette than what it is on. It's more of like a um, cool toned pink, but it's still really nice. I like it more than the purple with this look just because it's a little bit more neutral. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that this palette has an option of a darker lip um, or a bolder lip or a more neutral lip like this one. Alright guys, so this is the finished look here. I'm absolutely blown away with the palette. It was so good and I'm just very, very happy with it. The colours all work together really really well as well as the lipsticks um, and the blush and the highlighter are really good I just honestly I loved all of these products in this palette they are really really good and I love how the look turned out as well obviously you're very limited to what you can create with this palette but I think it's nice if you just want something simple and easy for traveling um, or even just something with like one type of look like you could always just use like Few different colors out of the palette instead of using everyone like I did but yeah I'm very impressed with the pigmentation they blended out super easy and I love the look that I was able to create with this palette so yeah I'm very very happy with this I'm absolutely blown away with the lipsticks um, they just feel amazing on the lips they feel super light they don't feel heavy um, and they have really good pigmentation as well so I am very very happy with this palette I love it I definitely recommend to go check out their website so they actually have a new palette coming out on the 1st of November it's the Raven Elise palette it's beautiful it's a like more of a neutral color more of a warm tone one as opposed to a cool tone um, but yeah that's really really pretty too so go check out the website I leave it all link I'll leave it I can't talk I'll leave it all linked down below for you guys and yeah thank you so much Deck of Scarlet for sending me these products to try out I've quite happy with the mascara as well it always takes me a while to get used to new mascara but yeah it looks 
nice too though and i love the brush of it i love that solid brush on mascara but yeah anyway that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you thought of this look down below comment request subscribe and like don't forget to hit that notification bell and i will see you all in my next video bye